A group of mothers against gun violence is applauding a recent decision by the Phoenix Union High School Board. The board voted unanimously to require the parent or guardian of every student to read and sign a gun safety form. Team 12's Joe Dana explains what's behind the vote. It's estimated that 4.5 million American children live in households with at least one loaded, unlocked firearm. Improperly stored guns play a prominent role in accidental shootings, suicides, and campus shootings. So with this step, the school board wants to make parents more accountable. Parents sign forms for things like field trips and sports participation, but gun safety? This is just an obvious thing that we can do right. to help prevent any future tragedies. The Phoenix Union High School Board voting last week for a secure storage notification resolution. It calls for gun storage information to be included in the student handbook of all 27,000 students of the district's 20 high schools. Parents will sign off on the policy, agreeing they have read and understood that firearms should be properly stored and locked. The resolution prompted by the activist group Moms Demand Action. Phoenix Union Board President Stephanie Parra says the resolution's a small but meaningful way to educate parents. From time to time, guns have made uh, an appearance on our campuses. Um, and when we spoke to the moms, you know, often what they hear when um, a student brings a gun to campus for whatever reason, um, it's because the parent did not properly store the, um, their firearm at home. Phoenix Union joins several districts in California and Denver public schools that have approved secure gun storage awareness campaigns. Moms Demand Action hopes it's just the beginning of a nationwide movement by school boards, a way to promote gun safety that does not require an act of Congress. And although it's considered a staple of responsible gun ownership, Arizona law does not require that gun owners lock away guns in homes where children are present. Back to you. All right, Joe, thanks.